Going to give you a little idea about who's for cash. Halftime performances, once they have finished, two winners will be drawn to compete in the shooting contest. They will have 30 seconds to make a layup for five bucks, free throw for 10 bucks, and a three pointer for 15 bucks. They have to make the layup before they can shoot a free throw, etc. Both contestants then will get a chance at halftime and the half court shot worth $100. Sponsored by Home Savings Bank. Get your tickets for the halftime shootout. Hoops for cash. Ticket sellers for the hoops for cash. We got a couple of young ladies here ready to buy. So get a chance, come on down and meet her with a hoops for cash. They feel like they're gonna win, so come on down.
Welcome back to the Blue Comets broadcast. We're here to watch Pittsburgh play against Chanute Blue Comets and some basketball tonight. We got me, Braden Goff, here as your host with the co-host Braylon Rita as your color commentator. We are should be in for a good game. Two really good teams here. Um, starting five for Chanute is going to be Larson Kester. He's going to be your guard. Chris Harding's coming in as a sophomore, starting up right there. Rhett Smith, guard two. Jordan Duncan, guard. you got to guard him on the perimeter. And Elliot Stevenson loves those baselines. So, Brandon, what do you think about number 30, Mason English? He is number – he's ranked number three in the state right now. What do you think Chanute's going to do to stop him? I was waiting for you to bring him up because you are right. He is number 30. What, what, number, what, what was it again? Number, he's ranked number three in state. Yeah, ranked number three in state. What's crazy. And he's averaging 27 points. Yes. So there's that too. He's a very good player. I will say the best chance in guarding him, me personally, I would start out in zone. I will say that. But if that's not working, if he gets too hot, you can't handle that, go into man with either Rhett Smith or Elliot Stevenson guarding him. Because that's probably your two best defenders. If not, just put elbow on him. He's an old man. He got it. Um, I was watching some film a little, little I want to say yesterday. I've, he can shoot deep. Talking Curry range. He's driving in the lane. I mean, he can do it all. I just, I, I mean, I'm glad that I can get this opportunity to watch somebody that's top three ranked in the state just, you know, with my own eyes. Fair enough. You don't see that very much in SEK, that's for sure. That is Unless it's the track. For Pittsburgh, by the way, we got number 30, Mason English, which we already talked about. He's going to be starting. Then we have number 55, Jaden Brown, six foot. He's also a sophomore. You have 25, I believe, TJ Wesley. 
Yes. And then 23 would be Joey Cronister, I want to say. This team and got some hype. 11 is Nate Mitchell. All right, Mason English up top. He's going to drive in. Dishes it out to 25. That's going to be the Beautiful. first assist for him. Beautiful dish. I mean, he's really showing why he's ranked three in the state. Like we said, we're talking about um, starting out in that zone. And it did. It did contain him, but it left another guy open. But the question now is do you allow that to happen, let someone else get hot and not him? Because maybe you can play better than that I mean, guy. That, that's great. That's a great question. Uh, to be honest, I mean, there's nothing you can really do. As you see him drive down, Euro, I mean, he's just showing it. But back to what you were saying about if do you leave that person open, honestly, no. You don't want to leave anything open, even though you got a really good player. You, everybody's going to want to double. I mean, you're going to want to double team him. I yeah. mean, there's, there's nothing you can do about that. But you also gotta you also gotta realize if you're double teaming, somebody else is gonna be open. So that is that's very true, and that's that's another problem with that. Is like I said, do you let that extra person get hot? Coming off on that, there was a foul on number 23, Joey uh, Cronister. I believe that's how you say his last name. Uh, just gonna bring the ball back up here to restart clocks. No, we don't have shot clock, so shot doesn't uh, clock doesn't restart. But you have Chris Harding out on the wing. He's going to pass down to Rhett Smith on the drive. He goes up with the lay. A little bit of contact. Someone got a hand on the ball. Just kind of got it out of the way there. Mason English coming down. El Boogie on him. Takes the three from deep. With hand in his face. It goes in. I mean, you can tell. He's just so comfortable right there. It doesn't matter. You got one hand, two hand. He's just so comfortable. He's just – I. You just can't give him any space. That's the thing. But at the same rate, you give him no space. He's just going to take a screen, just, drive yeah, in. He's going to go right yeah. around you. Jordan Duncan with the three going up. It's going to go off the back. Jordan Duncan's another person you don't want to give space to either. He is a threat behind the three-point. Coming off that rebound, they pass it off to Mason English to carry up the court. He passed down to number 25. TJ Wesley just kind of slipped off his fingers. Otherwise, that would have been probably counted as another assist and another great dish by him. Larson Kester bringing the ball to the court. He's going to pass off to Chris Harding on the wing. He's looking to get it to uh, Elliot Stevenson. Just can't. They're flashing around. Don't find anybody, but they'll give it to him. The corner to Larson Kester. He's going to dribble out towards the top. Passes back down to the corner to Rhett. Off the, not off the fingers of Mason, Mason English. They're going to say that was good defense. He stepped out. It's going to be Pittsburgh's ball. I mean, Pittsburgh's just playing that lockdown defense right now. I mean, when you have number three in the state guard who can score, that's really all you need. I mean, it's kind of like a football team, get a good quarterback, build around him, uh, find out what he needs help with. In this case, not saying it's going to be this because I haven't seen him play, but – in this case, it's going to be defense. If you have a scorer like him, get some good defense around him, it's going to go great from there. They pass out to Jaden Brown, who's going to give it up to Mason English to carry the ball. He's sizing up Larson Kester. He's going to go drive, dishes it out to number 33. Joey takes the shot. It goes off the board. Jaden Brown picks it up, gives it back to Mason English. They're just going to be feeding him all night. Number 33, they're going to call him for, that's a charge, right? Charge. Call for a charge. Just, he purposely just drove into the guy. You, if you have that, you're going to have the intention of going up with it. Otherwise, you're going to get called. Larson Kester bringing the ball to the court, guarded by Joey. He's going to take a screen off by Elliot Stevenson. Jordan Duncan's going to take a three from top, looking to get their first points on the board. It's going to go off the rim. Mason English is bringing it back down, putting pressure on the defense. Takes a little step back, and it's good. Man, he's nasty, man. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be hard. Nothing you, there's nothing you can say. There's nothing you can do either to for it. Good dish off by Rhett on that drive after making Mason English jump out a little bit on that pass. Dishes it off to Larson Kester to get the and one. K-12 
chain seamsters coming in for Jordan Duncan. Maybe just get that little bit of physicality in. That's what they're looking for. I'm I'm ready for Chanute to start trying different ways to guard Mason. I'm waiting for it. Aggressive. You, I mean, as I just, you saw. Sorry, not to cut you off again. <laughs> <laughs> as you saw, they came out in that zone like we were. I was talking about, and then they went to man, and they are having Larson guard him. Now they're back in zone, but they were in man for a little bit. Um, but yeah, Jaden Brown on the wing. He's going to pass that up to Mason English as he gets the play call to set it up. Mason English takes the drive, takes the dish off to TJ Wesley, who gives it back to Jaden Brown in the wing. Goes back to Mason English. He just puts up a three. Goes off the glass, but TJ Wesley gets the board. He goes down to low to pass to Mace, no, Chase Hembry. And it was, Hembry just wasn't ready. It was a great look. As you see in this replay, it was a great, great shot, rebound, and then he was he already knew where he wanted the ball, where he expected him to be. It was just wasn't they weren't moving at their same speed right there. Maybe that's just a little bit of uh, inexperience, just maybe not the chemistry there that they he'd want. Who knows? But it definitely was a good look by T.J. Wesley. Talking about T.J. Wesley, that ball is going to come off his fingers and be a shoot ball back. Substituting for the purple dragons, number zero, Joseph. Hernandez. Uh, and as you hear there, Joseph Hernandez coming on for Pitzer. He's going to be guarding Larson up top. Gets a handoff to Rhett Smith. Looks to drive. Looks to dish off to uh, Chris Harding. But it just didn't look like, like we were just talking about. The same kind of situation. They knew what they wanted. Just this weren't on the same page. Chris, Chris's sophomore year, first year starting. And... You can see why they don't have that chemistry yet. Joey in the corner. He's going to drive over to the wing, pass it off to Joseph Hernandez, if I remember right. Rebound comes down, it gets to Caden. He scores. <laughs> uh, what's that guy's number again? Yeah, Joseph Hernandez. That's what I was looking for during that play. All right. Promise as it goes through, I should remember the names a little better. Mason English is going to come off. They're going to call off for a carry. It's going to be Snoop's ball going the other way. 4-10. Still a pretty dang close game, especially with coming into, like you said, number three in state guard. Like, that's the big thing you come away with from here. If you're Snoop and you can hang with this team with the number three in state guard, that's saying something. That's some proving ground you have. That's saying something right now. Which they're only uh, they're only trailing by six right now. All it takes is one shot. They're back in the game. Ellie Stevenson up top with the ball. He passes off to Rhett Smith in the wing. Larson Kester on the other wing passes down to Ellie Stevenson on the low block. He comes up to the wing, goes to pass to Chris Harding, but it's going to go the other way. It's obviously going to be called a uh, backcourt violation. He just touches it so it doesn't go out of bounds. Get closer to the goal. Joseph Fernandez is going to pass in. He's going to give it off to Mason English. You're going to be hearing that name a lot today, I, I would assume. Pass I mean, it off to number 35. That's a new guy. His name is Jackson. Jackson's his last name. That's he, what I'm going to call him. Mason English has been the talk of the town. That's all I've heard in school. How, how are they going to guard? How are they going to guard Mason English? What are they going to do? Talk, talking about Mason English makes another really nice three. Comes off the hand. Looks great going in going to be tough to guard. That's for sure. Larson's going to drive in. Gets a good drive. Gets the foul off of Joseph Fernandez. It's going to be their ball back underneath. Joseph Fernandez picks up his first personal foul. One team foul. I will say, Chanute's had done a great job so far of not fouling. Maybe one of the things they were looking at is that they are a physical this, team yeah. and they're looking to get to the cherry strike for a lot of their points. This is kind of looking like the the girls game. The girls game, Chanute girls were really, really aggressive. First quarter, five, five uh, fouls. Second quarter, five fouls. But, and then it started switching up, and then Pittsburgh started being the aggressive. I believe 
from the looks of it, it looked like Lars was stepped over the line maybe, and that's why that got called back. I wasn't exactly for sure. I was more busy about how the play was going to go when it came in. Did not see that. Caden taking Kaden. a charge. Big charge there. Got to give Jackson his first foul of the night and going to get Shindu the ball. I mean, Caden's just showing I'm not here just to play for me. I'm here to play for this team putting the body on the line. It was a great charge take. Looked amazing coming off. It's not hard to fall on the floor like that. Like, I mean, it hurts to fall on the floor like that is what I meant. Um, so it does take a lot of guts to do that. Elliot Stevenson moving his way around. Puts up a shot. Hoping for a foul. Doesn't get one coming down. He was definitely looking for the foul right there. Tough call coming that way on Chanu. Joseph Fernandez coming off the log ball from TJ Wesley. Going up with it right away. Gets a lot of contact from Chris Hardy, but I didn't see much from Caden. That's who they end up calling it on, I believe. Yeah, that's who they called it on. Caden was ready for that shot. First shot's going to be missed by Joseph Fernandez. He'll have one more due to the new rule in Kansas. Catching up with the NBA that there is no uh, – single single it's just only double doubles so he takes two shots no matter what once you get in the bonus second one's good that'll put him up 14 to 4 only 10 point lead not a big deficit to come back from not at all the real question is is do you think Pittsburgh will take out Mesa no not it's at all not at all not at all it's not even close to the playoff time right now they're not worried about that um Kane seems to drive show, right in. showing a lot of effort there on that drive. Fine, found the lane, layup, curse with the tip pass. It's going out of bounds. It's going to be uh, Pittsburgh's ball. Mason English passes in to TJ Wesley. He's just going to go up. Caden gets another charge. There we go. He was ready for that. you got to love Caden coming out like this with a bunch of energy. Playing for the team, not for himself. It, it's amazing. Really getting those, you know, fouls up. I mean, we got five fouls in the first quarter. Really getting those fouls up, making sure people get in that foul trouble. I mean, the only way they could really get rid of Mason, put him in foul trouble, maybe come back a little bit. But if he's a smart player, like it would seem, because I would assume you'd be a smart player if you made it to number three in state. That's kind of hard to do if you're not a smart player. He's not gonna put himself in the position to be getting foul trouble. And especially in Southeast Kansas. I mean, you never really see that in Southeast Kansas. That is amazing. Rhett passes in the ball to Chris Harding. He's going to carry the ball up. Get something going for Chanute. About 15 seconds left on the clock. Let's see if Chanute can do something here. Rhett has it on the wing. He gets it down low to Jordan Duncan. Passes it back to Rhett Smith that's on actually, the drive. That, really contested shot that he just made. That was beautiful. actually not Jordan Duncan. That's Jalen. That's his little brother. Oh, I said Jordan. For, vor for varsity. Like we were taught, like I was talking about during the girls game, Sarah Unir, she's played a lot of varsity as a freshman. Maybe we can see that from Jalen. Jalen, I hear, has great defense. He hustles a lot. That's exactly that. what Sarah is. Sarah hustles great. She's great at shooting. She's just, they're all, both of them just great overall players. I mean, it's cool to see these young, these youngs in the varsity lineup. You're talking about Jalen Duncan, how he's great at defense. He's high energy. Great player for you, especially a freshman. I think that's just the Duncan gene from what I'm hearing. Uh, Jordan Duncan's great ball player. Mr. Duncan, who works here, was an amazing basketball player, won multiple state titles from what I heard from Jordan today. And then now you have Jalen Duncan come out here being able to play varsity as a freshman and play it well. So, Brayden, you've been in this, this position before down in the huddle, Crabtree writing up the play. What do you think he's saying down there? I'll be honest, I don't know what Crabtree says. I was bottom of the pitch, JV. Uh, but I know when it comes down to it, our coaches are a lot alike. And the main thing is going to be keep your heads up. You're not that far out. It's only six points. We're showing we can carve into their defense. You just got to watch their playmakers and guard up on them. And he's obviously drawing up a play that they can run. Because um, you don't go into huddle without drawing up one, really.
Brett Smith passes in the ball to Chris Harden, who's going to give it off to the wing, to Elliott Stevenson, looking to get a ball pass off. He passes to Brett Smith on top of the key, dribbles to the wing, passes it back to Elliott Stevenson, goes to Jalen Duncan. Caden seems to have thought he was going to get the lob there. Just wasn't open for him. Jalen makes a cut, showing that he's open. Rhett passes it back out to the wing to Elliott Stevenson. Chanute's taking a lot of time here. Looks great. That's what we want. Find the opportunities. Don't force them. Jalen on the wing. He passes down to Chris Harden. He cuts in. Chris decides he's going to take this with him. Goes up with a tough lay. Almost gets it and one, but it bounces out. He's going to take two shots here, though. These shots right here for the free throw, these are crucial shots that he needs, Chris Harden needs to knock down. Bring those lead to four. Shanud's looking, coming out of that first quarter, popping. They're showing the energy, yeah, that's for sure. They're showing that they can handle this. They're showing that they can play their own ball. That's the big thing that most people don't realize is when you play against a high energy team or a team that puts a lot of pressure on you, a lot of the times, if you're not um, disciplined enough, you change how you play. I know just not only for basketball that way, but from um, soccer too, we would change how we play. And the big thing is coming out and playing how you normally play, and that's how you play the best. And that's going to be the big thing coming out for Chanute. Uh, back to what was happening, Chris Harding just made one of the free throws, still converting, dropping the deficit down to five now. Mason English bringing up the ball. Saying he doesn't want the screen, drives down, fakes pass, gives it up to Joey. Joey passes back to English. English goes to drive, makes the Larson jump, goes up with the tough mid-range shot. I mean, the only thing Chanu can really do to guard Mason is make him feel uncomfortable. We've seen the deep shots, and he just looks like it's just, you know, it's just an everyday deal. See the deep shots, see him laying up. If they just put him in that uncomfortable spot, he's not going to know what to do. That's true, but when you look at him, what is his uncomfortable yeah, spot? That's like, the hard part. He's done so good today, especially if you didn't watch any film like me, um, I'll be honest. You don't know what his uncomfortable shots are, so how do you make him uncomfortable? Getting in his face. I mean... At, yeah, but he's shown at, today that he can at handle At some that. point, I mean, you're going to have to, at some point, you're just going to have to get that palm right in his face. Don't let him shoot. I mean, face guard him. Larson Kester on the shooting foul is going for two. He, uh, he's made one so far. Let's see if he converts in this next one. It's going to bounce off the back of the rim. Landon Bilby goes to get the rebound. Mason English gets it over him. He passes it down to Joey. Gives it back to English. English is looking to drive here again. Gets a hand on it. Larson Kester. I believe that was Nate Mitchell. Yep, number 11, Nate Mitchell right there. Good discipline. Puff fakes. Caden goes up. Gets the two shot, uh, two points up. Jordan Duncan comes down on the fast break. Equalizes it. Mason English on the wing right now. He's going to look to spread out the court right now is what it looks like. He's just trying to set up this offense. He knows what he wants. He's trying to find it. And Nate Mitchell goes to pass over to the corner, but Kane seems to with the steal. Oh, that's tough. That's that's really tough there. I mean, yeah. he had he had the right idea. He couldn't go up there because if he did, he was getting blocked. You saw Mason English so coming in. So back to Mason bringing up the ball and him bringing it back up back uh, back up the court, going backwards, trying to set up this offense. That proves that you know. A lot of great players, especially in the high school, they get cocky and they start thinking, "Oh, I'm 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 one of the I'm the best basketball player in SEK." Oh, this and that. And they try and do everything by themselves. That is not Mason English at all. Case in point, right there. I mean, he got a little too cocky there. Got headstrong. That is not Mason English at all. I mean, he's just he set up. The, he's trying to set up the offense, get around, pass the ball. If he has an open shot, he's going to take the open shot. Mason English driving the ball down the court off of the pass from TJ Wesley. He's going to try to go up with it. He gets the foul, so he'll have two shots going on now. Possibly be able to move this game to an eight-point game. He is not a person you want at the free throw. Not at all. Crowd's getting a little involved there. But like you said, he's not a guy you want he's there. Show, he's he, showing he's, that, I mean, scream, bothering. scream all you want. I don't care. Still going to make it. 
I think what needed to happen is they needed to scream a little louder. That's just what it was. It wasn't loud enough. <laughs> not loud enough. I mean, maybe the whole student section needs to scream next time, not just one person. That's the point of the student <laughs> section, too, you know. I mean, he goes up with the second one. It's good. Schnute's going to bring it down the court. Larson Kester passes it off to Jordan Duncan. Goes up with the pump fake. Joseph Hernandez guarding really tight here. Passes up to Landon Bilby in the corner. Threes up, Bang! and it's good. That's going to drop this Our, point. Landon Bilby has really became a new player. Back, back when I used to play basketball, I was back way, way back. And I used to play basketball. He, he never would shoot the ball. Just drive in, just drive in. He's really came to become a new player where he's shooting. Coming off the steal of Landon Bilby. Larson Kessie gets the ball, drives up, and he goes to alley oop at the Caden Seamster. There's contact on it, so it's going to be two shots for Caden. Caden's bleeding from the mouth. The yeah, that's tough because he went up, and when he how he came down, it looked like he probably well, made it's I, Well, it actually came from down here. Him and Bilby bumped into each other, and Bilby jumped up and shoulder right to the tooth. Oh. First one's up, and it's good. Second one's good. Just looking at line of out of the, Cutting the lead to three. Showing the this confidence is, coming off of him, too. This is amazing right now. Mason English going to bring the ball down on the right side wing. He's going slow to set this offense up. Changes a little bit of pace to try and drive down on Larson. Gets the mid-range shot. Makes him uncomfortable, so he misses. Mason tries to put back dunk that, Man. but it rims out. Larson gets to driving the ball up and up the press. Brett Smith gets it. They're looking to trap. Switches it over to KNC for deep three. Got it! Bang! Tie game right here. Four minutes left. He is on fire right now. Coming off. You see the confidence rating off this man. And then Mason just comes down and shows you I can do it too. Gets the and one on it too. A little bit of contact with the hands. It looks like off of just last little bit. It's going to be a Caden Seater Mason Eagles show. It looks like we got a shootout here. And it's going to be whoever plays better. And it's good for Mason English making that a four point play. And just like that, I mean, it's not a tie game no more. There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it at all. There really isn't. He, he's such a good player, as you see there. He is not afraid to shoot from the logo. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we see a logo shot from him tonight. Caden dishes it off to Jordan. There Duncan. you go. Hitting the three. Jordan's he's getting hot. He Schnute. is getting hot. Snoop crawling back, saying this game isn't over till we say it is. Mason English with a deep three again. Just good. Like you said earlier, it's a Mason and Caden show. And Mason just showed that. Caden sizing up Joey, gives it down to Rhett Smith in the paint. Fights for it. They're going to say it's on the floor. A little bit of a reaching foul. It's going to be shoots ball underneath. This is turned out really well. So Newt has definitely been working on this right here. Mason English now has two fouls coming into the second half with three minutes before second half, uh, the second half, I should say. Um, looks good for Jordan Schmitt. again. He's hot. I mean, Jordan Duncan's not somebody you want to leave open behind the three-point. It don't matter where it's at. No, and he proved that last year when he won the three-point co uh, contest. Now, Kane went to get the charge there, didn't get it, went on the floor. Mason English thought about shooting it. He decided to dish it off, went off several hands. The last of the hand it came off of was number two, A.J. Fears for Pittsburgh. Chinook's going to bring the ball up. Chris Harding has the ball in his hands. Passes it off to Atlanta Bilby on the wing. 
Brad Smith gives a good screen on Mason English. Good pullback. This is the pullback got too. the lead now. Maybe, just maybe, this lead is going to claw at the, the thoughts in Pittsburgh offense's head. And throw them off their game a little bit. Mason English from deep, off the rim. I mean, you see, we were talking about how that we don't know what Mason Rudolph, how to make Mason Mason Rudolph the tight end. Mason English, we don't we don't know how to make him uncomfortable. Jordan Duncan steals, he's gonna bring that back. But back to what I was saying, we don't know what to make him uncomfortable. They're gonna say the steps are travel. Crowd's getting a little emotional with yeah. that one. But back That's to what I was call. saying, with Mason English, I mean, we were talking about how do you make him uncomfortable? There's no way. Yeah, on but, that replay there, you see that's just looked like one step to me. It may have been two. That's a tough call, not yeah. going Snoot's way. But they're people. Refs are. Uh, as much as some people have a hard time believing that. And they make mistakes too. So you got to give them this one. That's, that's a tough call. But to make Mason English uncomfortable, maybe you just got to get in his head. Yeah, this is probably a game he's coming in saying, hey. What'd they call that, Braylon? Did you see? No, not at all. I was too busy looking at you while we were talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just heard a whistle. It looked like they were just dribbling in that wing. Um, anyways, Chris Harden to bring the ball up. He's going to pass it off. Jordan, who gives it off to that was a tries to force it in Perfect low. read by the defense. That's, That's going to be number AJ two, Fears. AJ yep. Fears. Joey puts one up, gets the rebound. TJ Wesley. Now, did they call that on the floor? No, they're not going to call that on the floor. It's on the shot. He's going to get two shots to get them the lead, possibly, or to tie it up. A lot of weight on his shoulders right now. This way. is a really close game. First one's good. High arc and free throw there. Just on that play, <laughs> TJ Wesley being in the right spot to get that rebound off the air ball, going up with it. He's going to make both of them. That's going to give them the lead of one point. Rhett passes it into Chris Harding. He's going to bring the ball up the court. Looking to get something going here. Did not see this, but Jalen Duncan did come in for Landon Bilby off of that. Kane seems to be trying to get something to go. Rhett Smith with the rebound, though. He's taking Easy back two. the lead. Just the last one. We got there. the brothers, Jalen and Jordan. Talk about Jordan getting the block there, but they're going to call that a foul. Just probably a little too much chest. Jalen and Jordan, brothers, on the court right now. Does it maybe, you? maybe they got some hidden chemistry right Does here. Does it remind you a little bit when Larson and Cam used to play together? Oh, yeah. Or Ashley and Kelsey. There's that too, yeah. TJ Wesley back of that line. He's going to shoot the first one. It's going to be good. That's a good call there by the ref. I just saw the replay. He got, he got some arm there. It's a good call by the ref. TJ Wesley for second one. It's good. Going to bring him back to the lead of one. But what I was going to say before, that was just a lapse of defense. They just let the board go up. They thought Caden was going to make that. Oh, Little yeah. did they know, went off the rim. Didn't make it. And Rhett seized the opportunity. Off the pass in, Chris just decided, I'm going to take it all the way. He gets fouled on it. He's going to get two shots. It's either tied up or get the lead back. It seems like we're saying that a lot here recently. Shooting two for the new comments number 10. Sophomore Chris Hart. It's good that Chanute is drawing these fouls, and especially in this game with the competition that we're playing right now. It's such a talented I mean, this, roster. This team right here is all hype. I yeah. mean, they're all tall. They're, they're, such a, they're such a talented roster here that Pittsburgh has. If you get them in foul trouble, that's going to make the game ten times easier. That's going to be too good for Chris Harden getting us at the lead. Mason English passes back out to Joey at the top. He's going to go drive in, gets a little contact from his own player, tries to dish it down to him low to Mason English, just couldn't get it. 
Rhett will give it off to Kane Seamster. They're going to call a travel on him on the hesitation, but they can't call. I could be wrong here, but I don't think they can call that a travel when he. It's a little pickup. Yeah, no pickup. A little pickup on the replay right there. A little trip up. Yeah. Dribbling like, still. He caught the ball, had one foot up for a hesitation, Dribble. and then he dribbled it. It looked like he did a little trip right there, but. It's an unfortunate call for sure, but Mason English is going to bring this ball up, hopefully getting some points on the board. Screen comes out by TJ Wesley. They get the double team off, though. He tries to throw a high lob to Mitchell. Back when we were talking about the double team and how they would be open, we have seen the double team a couple times in this quarter, and Chanute's like, and they, Chanute just hustles back on that open player. I mean, Pitt is not scoring nice. off that nice. open. And TJ Wesley, just a big body down low, six foot four, harder to defend. They get it down low to him, and he, he has a fun time. Jordan Duncan, deep three going off the rim. Mason English is going to get that. But like you were saying about the double team, that's what's getting him uncomfortable, if you've noticed. He hasn't been making the plays like he has. He hasn't been scoring. It. A little bit of mess up on his dribble there. He's going to try to go up, make a hard shot to end the quarter. Tough, tough quarter for him. Really, we thought we'd see more out of him, but it's been more. A lot more. It was early on, all Mason. I'll be honest. It was a lot there. Then in the first the end, quarter. Yeah, in the first quarter. Second, beginning of second, he did really good too. Um, but towards the end, it was a lot of TJ Mitchell passing off for Mason English, but it was not Mason English scoring. And that's where they struggled there. To the weekend pros. Our team of doctors can help with the diagnosis and treatment of sports related injuries. Wherever you are in your sports journey, Labette Health Sports Medicine team has the training, experience, and skill to repair, restore, and renew. For more information about Southeast Kansas' leading orthopedic and sports medicine program, go to labettehealth.com. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, located right across the street from Royster Middle School in downtown Chinook, is in the business of making you feel better, faster. With three licensed pharmacists, the Medicine Shop has the knowledge to know the right drugs and the proper dosage to ensure your safety. If you're not quite up to your game, the Medicine Shop offers delivery to your door. The Medicine Shop, a proud underwriter of the Chinook Blue Comet. Home Savings Bank is a platinum underwriter here at the Fire Escape Coffee House. Home Savings Bank has been serving the Chanute area since 1886. Customer owned and customer driven, Home Savings Bank, located at 214 North Lincoln Avenue in Chanute, Kansas, is here to serve all your banking needs. Whether your needs are checking, savings account, safety deposit box, lending, or online banking, Home Savings Bank is here to help. Home Savings Bank is located on the internet at homesavingschanute.com. Home Savings Bank is committed to the youth of Southeast Kansas and helping the ministries at the Fire Escape Coffee House.
Looks like we have a winner. For the home saving, who for cash? Eight. In eight, seven, he gets 30 seconds, all right, shooter. Three, two, one, begin. There's the layup for the free throw. That's a fight on layup. Cheer up for the free throw.
Welcome back to Chanute, where we got a really good matchup right now between the Pittsburgh Purple Dragons and the Chanute Blue Comets. Braden, what do you think that both teams need to work on to be successful in the second half? I mean, Chanute, they were showing it at the end. They did a really good job at just stuffing Mason English up. Like, once you stop him, their offense slows down substantially. That's why it's only a one-point game right now. It's because it slowed down as much as it did. As you saw in that last little bit, it was more of a uh, TJ Wesley game than it was a Mason English. Like, we were coming into this thinking Mason English was going to do all this, this, that, that. He looked great in the first quarter, and now he's coming out right now, and he's not looking like the number three state guy well, as we thought he would. another thing is, is that so now that he's getting well known that he's, you know, third in state, I think that Pittsburgh is now trying to not make it more. It's They're not trying to make it his game now. So you're telling me they're running an Atlanta offense where basically, all they do is run decoys. Basically, I mean, they're not. As we come into this second quarter with Mason English starting with the ball, I think that they've worked on or they're going to work on more team deal, and it's not just Mason. And my, my notes for Chanute on what they should do is keep this game going fast. That's what they're doing here. Larson Kester coming up with a big three there to get him in a two-point lead. And for Pittsburgh side, I'd say um, use your other guys. Mason English shouldn't be your main focus, um, obviously, because when you have one main focus, it's easy to guard. It's you guys. easy to guard. Um, and for stuff they need to do better, I mean, we just said that, and stuff they have done good on, like, there's, there's not a lot you can really say. I mean, it's not necessarily what Pittsburgh's doing good, it's what Mason English is doing good. Mitchell goes up with that shot, and there's going to be over back on TJ Wesley, going to give them the first foul of this half. And I believe that's his. Third or second one? We'll see when we're about to see. The board. Second. second. Um, What's good for them? Because if you get those guys in foul trouble early on, that's their two best players. In my mind, their two best players are going to be TJ Wesley and Mason English from where it's also gone. Brett Smith sends the ball in down low, and they're going to call it on the floor, just kind of that aggressive approach to try and get that ball from Larson Kester on the uh, pass down low. Good pass from Red Smith. Would have been good if the foul wasn't called. I mean, it was right there. That's the first foul on Mitchell for Pittsburgh. Kingston passes off to the wing to Rhett. Rhett gives it up, up top to Elliot Simpson. Now Caden goes to drive in with the ball. And they're going to call a travel. He's been called a couple times for that travel, as we saw earlier on the opposite side. They were... He was all up in that corner, got just, just moving the feet too quick. It's the hesitation steps. In high school, it's a lot harder to get away with that. NBA, you get away with it all day, but in high school, it's high school. Mitchell goes up the first one, misses. Doesn't get the second one, but he goes up the third time. Larson Kester swears he's standing up straight. But they're going to call a foul there. He's going to get two shots to be able to tie the game up maximum, bring it to a one-point deficit. The game deficit. is tied up. That's – Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. That's you're right. Larson's third foul tonight. So this would be to take the lead. One shot. I mean, this game is – it, it could be anybody's game right now. One-point lead. They're going to call a timeout coming out of the foul. Oh. Yep. No, that's going to be a substitution. My bad. They're going to sub in Chris Harding for Larson Kessler just because he's in that foul trouble. He does have three fouls. It's kind of tough. Chris Harden's bringing up the ball. It's kind of tough because it's a new team right here. He is the most experienced on the team when it comes to varsity minutes. So yeah, he's going to be a big part. Chris Harden going to work. Goes up with the tough Got play. It. I say tough play, but that, that looked easy to him. I know. Chris, Chris coming in, gets the ball stolen, gets the ball back, and then shows that just because you just, you know, tipped a little pass and you're trying to mess me up, it's not going to get in my head. Mason English with a deep three. Kind of off his back foot, wasn't good. Just tough defense by Elliot Stevenson there. Great screen coming off of Elliot for Layson to get uh, for Layson for Caden to get that layup. Misses it, but Elliot Stevenson gets the rebound, dishes it down to Red, goes out to the corner to Caden. Caden goes up for three, off the front of the rim. Chris goes for the rebound, gets out rebounded by Mitchell. 
Passes it down to Joey. Joey's going to go for a spin. Goes up to the play. Misses. Rhett gets the rebound. He's going to bring the ball down. Making sure that pace is staying high. Kicks it out to Chris Harden. Was looking to Elliott Stevenson there. Goes to drive. He feels like he had a good match up there. Did not go good. They're going to call a foul on Rhett Smith coming out of that. It's kind of an unnecessary foul, frustration foul. I want to say it wasn't a – well, he, if you see in the replay right here, you see Rhett gets his hand on the ball right there. And then he gets a – may have got his hand on the ball, but uh, his hand was laying across the other guy's arm. I mean – I mean, it, it can go both ways. It can be aggression or, you know, it could just be one of those, okay, I missed this shot. It's not going to get in my head. Let me get this ball back. Mason, he just passes it off, kind of leaves his head down as he goes away from the ball. They're going to pass it out to number three to three. That's Chase. Gives it off to Joseph. They're going to call a reach foul on Jordan Duncan. That's, he, he must have saw something oh. that. No, it's going the other way. Did you not hear me? I said reach and foul on Jordan Duncan. It wasn't on Jordan Duncan, though. Who, 35. That's Elliot Stevenson. Tough fouling game. That's all I got to say. Chris Harden bringing the ball down. Big screen from Elliott Stevenson. Works down low. Looks to pass it off. Hits it off back of Mason English's hand. Mason English goes to drive down. Goes for the tough play. Doesn't make it. Kind of being, kind of being nice little pass off there. Got it. Tough play by Kane Seamster. Well, you see right here, Mason English. He's starting to force shots now. Earlier in this quarter, we've we've seen him try and force deep threes. Now we we get that you can shoot those. You know you've hit a couple this game, but it's not something you want to keep on doing. As wanna, we just, I didn't want to upset anybody, but I was contemplating on saying. It, but now that you brought it up, it's the selfish play. He's coming out being selfish very play. selfish. If you look at Chanute on the way down. Rhett went up for the layup, but he dished it off because he realized, I got two guys yeah. on me. Kane goes up with it, they get the bucket. Because that's selfless play. That's how it's meant to be played. But with him being selfish, there goes for another goes deep three. three. Deep three doesn't go for him. Like, that's selfish play. He has to fix that. If he wants to be the high caliber player that he wants to be, he has to fix the selfish play. Chris Harden comes down with the ball. They're going to call a foul. Number 55, Jaden Brown. He was, looking, he was looking for the jump call, but it did not look like he had any. He did not look like he There's had that ball wrapped up with Chris. Yeah, there has to be some kind of control gotta, with the ball. Yeah, you got to at least get it wrapped up. Yeah. As you see on the replay right here, I mean, he had no wrap up. Yeah. No wrap up that, at all. He's reaching around the guy. When, when you reach around, you get a foul. That's just how it is. That's because that's a reach. I mean, it's in the name. You go with a timeout. Um, so, what do you think? What do you think's going? Missing that human touch at your bank? At Community National Bank and Trust, you'll be able to talk with a real person. Community National Bank is small enough to know you, yet big enough to offer the best products. Your busy lifestyle requires banking options like mobile deposit and people-to-people -people pay. With locations in Southeast Kansas and Southwest Missouri, Community National Bank and Trust can help keep your finances safe and your spending smarter. Online at mybankcnb.com. Community National Bank and Trust. Federally insured. Locally awesome. Member FDIC. All right, Braylon, back to what you were saying after that <laughs> terrible time for a commercial. But I was I was going to ask you, Braden, Pittsburgh, what do you think is going on in that huddle? They are down by four points right now. Not expected at all. Chanute's showing that you may have a rank a top, one of the top three players you in have competition. Kansas. That's you what they're com showing. You, you got, got competition. competition. But Chanute's showing you might have one player, but we got the whole team. Yeah. At the end of the day, basketball is a whole team sport. You can't rebound by yourself. You're not going to be able to play defense by yourself. You got five people on the – you can't guard five people at That's once. That's exactly it. You're coming out of this – it's just a four-point deficit. could be a five if Rhett's hit, Smith hits his next one. You're still in this game, but when you look in there, everybody's sulking their head for the Pittsburgh side. Besides TJ Wesley, that is the one thing I do want to mention. He's, he came out with a smile. He's ready to play. He's ready for the energy. But it's just keeping your heads up is the main thing I'd say to that. And not forcing shots like that. Does he get the rebound? Yes. It's a rebound, though. They're going to call a foul. But that's, that's tough to – that's, that's a, a tough That's foul. another thing, though. When you miss your shot and you go, go back and grab your rebound, 
I mean, that's part of the. That's probably one of the best things that you can do in basketball. It looks the best on you for sure. Because that's the, that's showing the passion of the sport, the, the energy, the. It's like it's like everything taking a as charge. a player. It's like yeah. taking a charge. It's just showing everything as a player as you want. He hits the first one. He's gonna cut it to a three-point game. He can make it two here. There's the second. Chris Harden bringing the ball down. Gives it up to Caden on the wing. Caden's looking to pass it off. Gets to Jordan Duncan up top. He passes down to Chris Harding. Caden working in the post. Going for a tough lay. Off the ball of the rim. Unfortunate. But they're going to call a travel. travel. Good call there. He was kind of jumping around a little bit. Trying to move too quick. As you should be able to see on the replay. Yeah, he changed his pivot foot there. Took one step forward and then moved off that foot. Can't he, do that. That's he, travel. He's sitting there trying to play it off. I mean, that's the only thing you can do. Off the fake handoff, Kitten goes up with the tough lay. We were talking about selfish play, a selfless play from Chanute, but Kitten's kind of trying to take the reins there. Maybe he could have gave it off to Rhett Smith. Been a better play. Mason English trying to force stuff once again. Tip ball coming out of the pass. Red's going to give it off to Elliott Stevenson. Elliott drives in, dishes it down low to Chris Harding. He's going to look to dribble out of this, just reset everything. Gives the ball up to Jordan. Red sets the screen on Joey, trying to get Chris open a little bit. Caden passes off top. Caden passes off to uh, Elliott Stevenson now. Gets back to Chris Harding up top. He gives it off to Red on the wing. They're just taking it slow because they're in the lead. They don't need to force anything. Caden puts up a good three. Had a lot of space there. Unfortunately, just didn't go in. They're going to call a foul push. there. It's going to be Shanu's ball. Should be putting him in the bonus. Believe. Pittsburgh is coming out to be a uh, aggressive. That's the word I'm trying to find. Aggressive team. Too aggressive. We were talking about this in the girls' game. When you're too aggressive and then you tell the coach, like, hey, you need to start calming it down. But then you start getting, you know, a little less aggressive. And then it starts showing. Rhett Smith with a miss on the first free throw. He goes back to put him to a three-point game right there. Timeout, no, substitution out of uh, the free throw. Number 35, that's going to be Dilby. Nevea Jackson coming and in. And Bilby comes in for Bilby comes in Rhett. for Chanute, for Rhett. Just to give him a little bit of a break. He's been playing a while. Mace English is bringing up the ball very slowly. That's the other thing is you want to keep your momentum. So when you bring up the ball slowly, it makes it hard to kind of get back in the groove. They're going to call, I believe that's going to be a push on Elliott Stevenson. I think that's his fourth, third. Third one tonight. That's his third. They, they caught a push. He had a little bit of a hand on him. Caden tried to get over this uh, charge yeah. if it did get through. I don't think Elliott's going to be coming in until next quarter. That's a tough player to lose right there. They put Jalen Duncan in for him, though. Great physicality there. I mean, look at him. He's guarding a 6'4 guy as he's like, did you say he's six foot now? I can check. Hold on. Chris Harden bringing down the ball. He's going to go for the delay, goes off the front rim. Jalen Duncan goes to contest the rebound. They're going to say it's out on six foot. Jalen Duncan. And, yeah, six foot tall, Garden 6'4 guy. Mismatch. Probably has a good a mismatch right 30 there. pounds there. And that's what they want to think is there's a mismatch. Mi mismatch. <laughs> mismatch. <laughs> Tongue twister. Um, but I believe that Jalen can still guard him fairly good just to do the physicality of him. Caden showing that he can play big, too. Mason English takes the selfish shot, but he gets the ball back out after TJ uh, Wesley passes it off. Takes another selfish shot off the front of the rim. That's just what we're talking about, just keeping it a selfless game. Well, gets the block, though, on the other end. That's tough. Zilby got led a little too I early hope, on it, so there wasn't much I he could do. I hope that doesn't get to his head. It shouldn't get to his head. Like I said, he got led a little too much there. There wasn't much he could do there besides go up with that. Um, but it's going to be Snoop's ball down low no matter what. Caden gets the ball off the inbound pass. He sizes up. TJ Wesley goes up with it. Gets the hard way. I think he was looking for a 
three-point play there. Doesn't go his way, but it'll be coming in down the floor from Mason English. Once again, just coming in slow, losing all that momentum that he could have had from the block. And Caden Seifster guarding up way high, trying to get in that head a little bit. Jalen Duncan, the freshman on Mason English, guarding him up real nice. Kane comes out. See, they're just making him uncomfortable, forcing him off. There we go. At the beginning of the game, he would be taking that. But he, he realized as the progression goes through that he's not the player in this game like he wanted to be. And so he's a little uncomfortable, maybe losing a little bit of confidence in the game. So he's just passing the ball off. I like that he's being a little more selfless there. I just don't, he, he just wasn't, hands weren't ready for that ball. But, I mean. Chris off the steal. Never mind. Now, I was, <laughs> I was about to say Pittsburgh comes out with the ball, but. And selfless play there. Chris realizes he's, too, he's guarded too much, so he lays it off to Jalen Duncan to get his points. And he's picking up, the freshman is picking up Mason English right now. And he's right there. He's showing that, hey, I'm right here. And makes that shot hard to take. And it's a miss. As a player of his caliber, what do you think is going through his head that I just got locked up by a freshman? Yeah, well, it's not that, it's not just a freshman though. It's hard, and when I mean hard, I mean it's hard to be a freshman that is getting time on varsity. Yeah. Jalen is getting time on varsity over, I mean, a lot of these players. And with him, like we were talking about earlier, he plays really good defense. Like right now, he's picking up Mason English again. Mason English is probably thinking, oh, who's this freshman? But Jalen's like, I'm blocking you down this whole time, man. You're not going anywhere. You see him? I mean, look. I mean, you're not doing, you're not doing anything on it, man. It's just, why are you forcing this shot? Jalen's, that's such an unlikely shot to make, and he's lucky he got the foul there because it didn't look like there's much contact. I could be wrong, I don't have the angle, but from up here, it didn't look like much contact on him. And he's taking it. Grant is getting him to the charity stripe. He should make both of these to cut it, uh, the game a little closer to a five point uh, deficit. But with him, but that's the thing though. So we see him taking all these shots. He's making the deep threes, he's making this, but I don't think he's missed a free throw tonight. He's one person, especially in this close game, if he makes this another shot, if he makes this last shot, he'll bring the lead to five. Yeah, off that replay there, we were showing it. it maybe it just was a little bit of contact earlier before, like when he's getting set up for a shot. But through the shot, his hands were up. He didn't touch them. Um, but Mason English is going to make a count no matter what. He's, he makes that two coming off. They're going to look for a quick shot. Rhett Smith was wanting a foul there to lead into the quarter. Unfortunately, didn't get it. But that's going to be bringing us into quarter four. And both teams are playing good. Chanute has really brought it out since the first quarter. They have really shown, like, we're a team, big team. Big, this is a big team. You might have one player that's good. We got the whole team that's good. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, this is a tough game for uh, Pittsburgh coming out. Because especially with having that ranked number three player. Sorry, I was just eating ice and my gums are cold. So <laughs> trying to take a break really fast. Um, having the ranked number three guard, having a 6-4 center down low, and just players that can support him really good. You come into thinking this, this is a wash game. This is... This Doesn't is, even bug Chanu. This is San Francisco playing the Panthers. Like, yeah. yeah. That's what they're coming into thinking about it. But in reality, when you drop your guard like that, you make yourself more vulnerable. And that's what they're showing today, is they drop their guard thinking this is going to be an easy game. And now they're vulnerable to a loss right now. They're losing by five points. Two of them not coming out that's, ready. That's the cons of having a top three play on your team because you're like, oh, I mean, who, who really, who's really going to guard this this player? I mean, he's top three in the state. I can tell you, a freshman. <laughs> I mean, they, you go into the game with this. There's pros and cons of having a, like that really good person on your team. Pros. I mean, he can make these clutch shots. I mean, he's been making deep threes. I'm, it's just. But if you don't give him that space, he doesn't have the opportunity to do yeah. that. And that's the tough part for us. Uh, Jaden Brown's going to get the steal off that pass. They're going to bring it down with Mason English. He is pushing the court a little bit more. That is something we mentioned that we wanted to see. The double team comes off. He passes down low to Joey. Takes the 
That's a hard shot, I will admit. That's a hard shot down there. From a low block. Goes over. It was Mitchell a great look. Shot. It was a great pass, great look. Found the guy, but that's just a really difficult shot. Larson coming down, getting the separation to make that free, uh, layup pretty easy. Put it to a seven point game right now. Mason English is going to bring this ball down. And th there's the momentum. It's gone. He's walking it down. He's going to get doubled here, making him uncomfortable. They drop it to Mitchell. There is going to be a foul there. That's a good call by the ref. But he found that dude. He just he, he split the two defenders. I mean, both hands up. And there's that little gap, and he just shot the ball right through that gap, found him. I mean, that's great vision right What's there. One of the reasons why he's third ranked, right? But at the same time, he's finding a guy that's, even though he wasn't as guarded, he still had someone get on him in time to where he was guarded. And so it's hard for that. Right here, you see him split the, split the two defenders and go up with it. But that's that's the thing though. If you're if you got a player behind you and you're you're sitting there at the layup, uh, getting a layup, and there's you're most you're most likely going to draw that foul. And so maybe that's what he was thinking. By pass right here, he goes up. Maybe he can draw the foul. Yep. Uh, Larson Kessler's going to bring it up after those two free throws were made. He's going to pass it off to Rhett Smith off the hot defense by Mason English. T.J. Wesley got a little bit of a hand on it, but wasn't enough to actually do anything. Elliott Stevenson gets the ball back down. He drives down, misses the lay. T.J. Wesley, good pass off to Mitchell. Mitchell just doesn't make the tough layup. And Shanu's bringing the ball back down to four on two. Elliott Stevenson tries to go high with it because he figured there'd be a hand up there. That's going to come off a Pittsburgh hand and stay Shanu ball down low. I mean, layups might seem layups might seem like the easiest shot to make, but... Turns out they they could be the hardest. Really? I know you haven't played basketball in a while, but when you have a six four guy on you, <laughs> when you're taking yeah. the layup off, it's not that easy. <laughs> Cut off the hands of Mitchell. That's gonna be a snoop ball again. Larson well, Kester a little bit after right the play there, saying it's all talk, all it, talk. It might it might have yeah, yeah, just been from my angle though, but it didn't look like he was playing defense on Elliott. Ellie just, I thought it looked like Ellie was just going up for a normal layup in practice, layup, like layup lines and stuff like that. But, you know. Elliot's going to come up to screen Joey. Joey gets around it. Chase stays along Elliot, so there wasn't much for a get back there. Kane seems to be going to come off of the switch. He passes off to Rhett Smith up top, gives it over to El Boogie on the wing. El Boogie is it down low to Kane Seamster. They're going to call. Three seconds in the lane. Three seconds in the lane. Was that on Elliot Simpson? I believe that's who I saw down there. Mason English bringing this ball up. Still with a slower pace, just trying to get across that line. In the beginning, they had strong pace, high intensity, and that's what got them the lead. Now that they've slowed down, it hasn't been going well, their way. Larson goes for the steal there, makes him pick up his dribble. They took the lead 7-0 in the first quarter, and then Chanuk came back and showed, like, you might have this 7-0, but we're not done yet. Joey, maybe, maybe they're not used to teams doing that to them. Joey Castier passes it off to Mason English, who gives it up to Jaden Brown. Gives it back over to the corner to Joey Castier for a three. Goes up the front rim. It's going to go off of the hands of Chanuk. Stay as a Pittsburgh ball. Mason English passes it into the corner to Chase. Chase gives it up to Joey. Mason English back in the corner. He looks to drive. Goes up with a hand on him. Just doesn't get it. That's that's those hard layups that he keeps on trying to take. And he hasn't been able to make. Now, the coach may be saying, you're a shooter. Take some shots. The shooters are going to shoot. Maybe that's going to get him back hot. Maybe that's what the coach is thinking. But really, like we're talking about, they would be in this game if they just passed the ball just a little bit more. Passes down to the corner to Rhett Smith. Rhett Smith is going to bring that over to Caden Seamster. Caden Seamster gives it back to Rhett Smith up top, just trying to set up an offense. He's guarded by Jaden Brown. They're going to, Chanute's going to call a timeout. And we're going to go to commercial break.
KFEX Firescape Radio programming is made possible in part by the underwriting efforts of Sonic Drive-In of Chanute. Sonic Drive-In of Chanute does not consider community involvement a sales gimmick or a public relations ploy. They see it as a way to be a good neighbor and as a way to have a positive impact on their community. It is for these reasons that Sonic Drive-In of Chanute is a proud underwriter of KFEX Firescape Radio and the ministry efforts of the entire Firescape ministry to the youth of Chanute. For years, Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has been providing quality financial guidance to local individuals and businesses. Their expertise ranges from basic tax management and accounting services to more in-depth services such as audits, financial statements, QuickBooks support, and payroll. Jared Gilmore and Phillips PA has backed Chanute's youth in all their endeavors from the classroom to extracurricular activities. They're proud to help support the youth of Chanute by underwriting this KFEX broadcast. And welcome back after that timeout. Uh, Chanute leading by five points, 47 to 42. Close game when you look at this score sheet, but in reality lead. in the last couple minutes, it doesn't, like if you watch the game, it doesn't feel like it would be a close game, if that makes sense. Well, hopefully in that huddle, Coach Crabtree's telling Chanute, like, hey, you know, we're up by five. We got four minutes left, no shot clock. Let's waste some time. As you say that, they bring the ball down, um, drive fairly quickly, doesn't waste much time. Um, and Chris Harding goes up for the quick 180, tough lay, and gets the foul on it so he can go for two. Two shots. These these free throws right here are pretty big for this game right now. Bringing the could bring the lead to seven as it brings it to six. What do you think? What do you think about what do you think's going through Pittsburgh's head right now? Uh, I mean, we already kind of talked about it. They're kind of down on themselves after that. Both of these free throws are going to be good for them. But if you watch, like Mason English just passing that ball off after the ref, it doesn't seem like there's much respect there on the pass back. Just kind of. Throwing it at him. He's kind of done with sloppy. the game. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of just it seems like it feels like he's just done with the game. And that's not what you want from your superstar player, is to be done with the game before it's over. Especially and not especially when you're how close it is. Yeah, and especially not with the losing. Rhett and Jaden Brown fighting over that ball on the ground after you poked it free. That's the energy you want from your star player, is diving on the ground for that ball. Now, from Chanute, I will be honest, we don't have much of a superstar player. We, we got, have like we a bunch a of stars. Team. Yeah. We have a bunch of stars that make a superstar team, and that's what you're seeing through there. It's like Red showing the energy to keep going, Elliot flying around to make sure he's on Mason English so he can't do what he wants, and Caden Seamster showing the physicality through all this. Mason English with a tough shot there. That's the first in a while, and hopefully that's a good thing for him and Pittsburgh's sake to get this back in this game. They leave a man wide open on the press, and, they and they're going to call it a travel. Too See, quick. He's been. He's getting a little happy. A little happy with that down is, there. The problem with that is, even in high school, there's something called a gather step, and that's what you see. Is he gets the ball, takes that gather step, then he dribbles, and they just call it a travel. Otherwise, he would have had a free layup straight through the rim, made that last shot by Mason English. Not matter. Screen coming off for Mason English. He still gets doubled off of it. Leaves Jaden Brown open on the three-point shot. He goes up high, arc and shot, does not get it. Comes off the glass. They get the rebound. He, Larson Kester gets a little bit of hand in there. Falls over to uh, Joey Castier. He gets the easy two points, making it to a three-point game. This is the energy we want out of him. Granted, it's not coming from the player we want, but it's coming from the team. It's showing that the team's still in it, just some players' minds may not be in it. I mean, you couldn't have said it any better. Coming into this, we got three minutes left. So with really this tight game. After the time the timeout before this one. After that, Chanute's offense started slowing down a little bit. A little something like a little something like we haven't seen this whole game. 
because they've been on it all game. On it, on it, on it, on it. There, there, could, the be a, there could be just a little bit of fatigue setting in. I mean, a lot of these players have been playing majority of the game. I mean, Caden Seifert came in maybe like, did like, you say seven it, minutes it, into it, the probably, first? Yeah, probably and, into the first. And he's been a big part of it so far. And Rhett and Larson hasn't been out much. Chris has been out not that much either. He's played most of the game. Elliot's played most of the game. It's a little bit of fatigue setting in. We do have those players that can come in and play some minutes to get them a break, but there hasn't been much of a chance but to give them breaks right now. Yeah, but with the game, like you were saying about giving them breaks, when you have a three-point, when it, the game, when you have a lead of three-point, I mean, there's really no breaks that you can take. That's exactly right there. Um, I mean, it's hard to give people breaks when uh, it's this close of a game. It really is. And that's that's the problem is it's going to show who has the more of a dedication to being better as players, being better fit when it comes down to the situation between teams because it's going to show who shines when the lights are the brightest. They're going to dish low to Larson off the contested pass. He gets it. Free lay once he turns. He's going to get us up for five points now, making this game a lot closer. Mason English bringing the ball, a little bit of pep in the step, feeling a little better after that shot. He goes up with a tough lay, just misses off the glass. He's probably looking for a foul there. Mitchell goes up for another layup. Just He's taking a lot of these contested layups, and it's not going his way for him. Chanute had three bodies under there, and they get an easy rebound. Kaysen's, uh, Kaysen. Kaden was trying to feel out Joey a little bit, decided to pass it off. They're trying to give Rhett some time to give the ball off so they don't give the five-second call for him. Hands it off to Larson. They're going to call a timeout from Devin Capchi so they can set up a play, kind of figure out how to deal with this pressure, give him a little bit of a break. Um, but on this one, we're going to go to commercial break, just like they're going to go to a break. Fredonia. Alert Construction Services was founded in Southeast Kansas as a small regional contractor and has now grown into a national heavy industrial construction company with regional offices across the United States. The Alert family is proud of our Southeast Kansas roots because we know that the people of Southeast Kansas make great employees. At Alert, we know that employees are our greatest asset and we're committed to investing in the growth of our employees and our community. Alert Construction Services, proud to support the youth of Southeast Kansas through the Firescape Coffee House and KFEX Firescape Radio. Coming out of this commercial break, score's going to be 51-46, Chanute leading by five, one foul for each side, so nowhere close to the bonus right now. It's kind of a good position for Chanute. Larson Kester gets the ball on the inbounds. He's going to Bring it up to the middle of the court. Goes to drive down. Dishes it off to Elliott Stevenson for the easy two points, making the seven-point game right here. That was a great little, little wrap around, finding Elliott right there for the easy lay, which is what they really need for this team right here. Mason English created a lot of space there. I would have figured he was going to shoot it. He didn't. They got the double team up. Left uh, Mitchell open on his run in. It was a good he look. shot the ball in real fast, but it's just – the lack of knowledge from Mitchell when he's down low and his space of his body that's costing him. He's lost a lot of balls that came well, through to him. What should have been easy lays or easy grabs to at least move the ball around a little more. He faked me out. I thought he was going to pass this dude on the wing. He was going to shoot, but nah. He saw something else. Chris Harden coming out on the wing. He does a little bit of spin move. Looks to give it off. They're going to call it a full timeout, and we're going to take a full timeout with them going to commercial break. Whether you're completing home repairs, weekend projects, or planning your garden for spring, Cleaver Farm and Home, 2103 South Santa Fe, has a carefully selected inventory for all of your paint, hardware, and building needs. Cleaver's also offers free delivery for cat and dog food if ordered online at www.cleaverfarm.com. Cleaver's supports the youth outreach of the Firescape Youth Ministry and is happy to underwrite KFEX Radio. Thank you, Cleaver family. We appreciate your support. KFEX 93.1 FM and Comet Vision are excited to partner with Dr. Grant Gastineau. Dr. Gastineau graduated from Chanute High School and is committed to supporting the activities of the youth of Chanute. Thank you, Dr. Gastineau. We appreciate your support. Oh, yeah. 
And we are back in Chinook, Kansas. Fourth quarter, one minute, 56 seconds left. 53 to 46. Three points away from a 10 point game. What's a big lead here with two minutes left? This is typically when it's earlier in the game, you see 10 points. Ah, that's doable, we can get back from that. But this late in the game, 10 points can be detrimental to a win for a good team like Pittsburgh. Larson Kesher gets it on the wing. They're going to try to foul him. We call timeout again, and we're going to take that one with them, too. <laughs> Cardinal Drug Store, located at 103 East Main in downtown Chanute, is a small-town pharmacy and gift store, which includes an old-fashioned soda fountain. They specialize in compounds and vaccines. They also supply many types of medical items. Cardinal Drug Store is your one-stop shop for all of your health care needs. KFEX and Comet Vision are so grateful for your support. Coming out of this commercial break. <laughs> Another one. There's, there's not that much of a difference going on. That's, uh, got, that's, got, that's got to be a record around yeah, here. Uh, <laughs> definitely getting the worth out of the ads, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. 53-46 uh, still uh, off the inbound. They're going to get the ball into Chris Harding. He's going to bring the ball down. Pittsburgh is playing some aggressive defense right now. When you're in this position, you kind of have to. It's like in football when there's two minutes left and you go into a strip, like oh, a defense. When you're, you tell your guys, try to strip the ball, that's what they're going to be exactly looking for. And there's the foul. They're going to call a push by Mitchell. That should be his, I think, third. Second. No, second. My bad, second. Um, but that's some unnecessary fouls you don't want right now because you're going to get him closer to the bonus, especially with this much of a lead. I say that, but they're going to start intentionally fouling so they can get him in the bonus to hopefully get him to miss because Chanute has not been that great from the free throw today. Um, so they're hoping they can get a couple misses and get the ball back. That's, his, that's Mason English's third foul. This is not good because he is a key player for this Pittsburgh team. That is for sure. But talking about key players, Larson Kester getting fouled again um, off the blocking foul uh, from Mitchell, who's going to get his third here. And they're one away from getting an intentional foul and getting him into bonus. Like we were talking about, uh, just getting that chance to get the ball back is what they're looking for. Because no matter what, unless they get the rebound on the second shot, like Chanute does, but then they're going to get the ball. The thing about... Mason English fouling though is that's his fourth foul, and with and you still got, I mean I wouldn't say it's long, but for how they're about to start playing this game with the intentional fouls, it's going to be real long. On top and of that, if I remember right, in high school still it's five fouls, not six. Five. Yes. Like in NBA, it's six, but over here it's five, and he's one foul away from fouling yeah. out. So now he has to be extra safe because you take him out, it's going to be a lot harder to score harder. when he's your main guy you go through. And that's the problem with the de uh, not defense. This offense is that you have one guy you facilitate through. It's easier to stop than a whole team like Chanute that's well-rounded, well-versed in all this. That shot's going to get him up to 54, 46, eight-point lead right now. Mason English takes a deep three off the backboard. Jaden Brown gets it, gets blocked going up by Larson Kester. And Joey Castier misses the dribble, kind of stumbles there. Selfless play by Rhett, giving it up for the assist so he doesn't get blocked. And that's how you make it a 10 point that's game. That's a 10 point game. Quick pass goes off. He gets it out of Joey Castier on the deep. He wants the three. It goes off the rim. After the Mossville misses, Mitchell's going to get the rebound, put it up for two to make it an eight-point game again. Pittsburgh with the timeout. This old Mason English with four fouls, this could be crucial to this team. You got 49 it, seconds left, and they're still trying to get back in this game. But Especially with the intentional fouling they're going to do, they're going to have to force someone else besides I, Mason English. Chanute's going to want, is going to try and get those fouls from Mason.
coming out of this, how do you see this first foresee this game going? Do you, uh, do you just call it here? I don't think you do because yeah, a lot can happen in 45 they just seconds. Brought it, they just brought it down to a nine, uh, eight point, eight point lead. A lot, uh, a lot can happen in this lot, time. A break. lot can happen right now. I mean, they, for all, they could sit here and do compress all time and just keep on getting layups off it. It's just basketball is such like it's a is it one of those games where it can change real quick. Where's my? Yeah, I'll do. With another intentional foul. They'll send Larson to the free throw. That's going to be Joseph Hernandez's third foul tonight. Let's hope, let's hope Lars has a still some aggression after missing that free throw. Let's hope Lars can hit this next one. Yeah, if you're Chanute right here, you want to at least make one, not make it to be able to where it stays there that eight-point game, and they win. Because, because when you miss both, it's a win for that team who intentionally fouled you. Talking about the other team, they come down quick, spin it down to Mitchell. Keep he's going to go up and get the foul. He's going to get a chance to shoot for two. Who has Third. been good out there? Out there at the free throw line. They're I believe he's only on. had oh, no, one no. miss tonight. Yep, they're keeping it on the floor. They're keeping it on the floor. That was not good for us. Bad was, for them. That was not what what Pittsburgh was looking for. A little bit of contact coming down there, but TJ it. gets open, gets that quick layup. Pittsburgh's going to call a timeout just for a little bit of strategy. If Pittsburgh wouldn't have called that timeout, uh, they would have got the ball back right there. Yep. All right, and now shooting that one over to commercials, right? The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, located right across the street from Royster Middle School in downtown Chinook, is in the business of making you feel better faster. With three licensed pharmacists, the medicine shop has the knowledge to know the right drugs and the proper dosage to ensure your safety. If you're not quite up to your game, Medicine Shop offers delivery to your door. The Medicine Shop, a proud underwriter of the Chinook Blue Commons. Unbelievable. Sparklight is unveiling unlimited internet for just $25 a month. Get reliable 100 meg internet for just $25 a month for 12 months with unlimited data. That's unlimited internet. Call 877-469-3057 or visit sparklight.com slash savings. Sparklight, a new breed in high speed. And we, and we gotta stop <laughs> doing this. Hey, what are you again? You said at the beginning, your, your color? Color commentator. And, I, and I'm play by play. <laughs> Uh, All right. Coming out of this, Double it's 57-50. Chanute's up by seven point lead, 30 seconds left. Chanute's in the bonus right now. Uh, Chanute's also coming out with the ball. So you can, you're, you can just assume that they don't get a steal right away. It's well, going to be intentional. Back to, what, back to what I was saying from, before we went to a commercial break. Uh, they Chris inbounded the ball and kind of just threw it out of bounds towards Elliott. Yeah, and Larson right there. Oh. Got in big trouble and just toss that ball up. And Caden comes down hard. That looked a little intentional. I didn't see the foul. I was watching the ball in the air. But I know they both went up for it because Larson got in trouble, so he, he threw it out as fast as he could. So he didn't get the five seconds. You're on the race you see him. You see him go up. He knows Caden's right there. I mean, it, it's hard to call that intentional. Yeah, They're both going cool. for the ball. The, the way you can say it wasn't is the fact that his eyes weren't on the it weren't on Caden. It was on the ball. So he was going for it. But Caden's going to shoot two here. Makes the first one. Showing that contact doesn't affect him. It was a hard hit going down. Second one's up, and it's going to be good. Contact doesn't affect this man. He's he's just him. Well, I mean, Caden's Caden's used to the contact. Caden's a, a one of our star wide receivers for our high school team. But you know, you're not landing on a wood floor without pads. Yeah. Uh, uh, on that play right there, Mason English runs down the court, takes a shot for three, trying to get the game back. 
just a little bit, and uh, they're going to get the rebound, and they foul because he got the rebound. So you're going to intentional foul here. There's 15 seconds. Caden's going to make Kaden's, the first one. Caden's not somebody you want on the one on the free throw line. I do though. believe he has not missed one tonight. So. As, as you say that, Caden missed his first free throw tonight. Sounds like Braden jinxed him a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of commentator's jinx. They're going to just hold the ball so they can run out the clock. And that's going to be Chinook Blue Comets win. 60 to 50 here, 10 points up. Blue Comets coming out showing they have something to prove. But they're going to be doing good this rest of the year, I'm assuming, especially after this game. Big group of draft for them. Um, you have any closing comments? No, I don't at all. I think you summed it up pretty well. Chanu definitely had something to prove, showing that you might have this good player, but we got this good team. Just game speaks for itself. Let's just put it that way. Game yep. speaks for itself. That's going to be it from us. Good night, folks. <laughs>